Oh, hello. Here I am today in the river in uh, Kennebunk Port, Maine. I'm going to have to find out the name of it. I'll stick it on this video. And if you ever have seen me paddling, you know that I'm pretty much always in a sawfish. Either one of my 12 foot, 16 foot, 14 foot, or some other size that I've made. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. And there we go, got some people paddling by here. But um, today, because of repairs, I was making two couple of my sawfish, giving one, giving the original sawfish away. Uh, the only boat I had ready to go today was my first foam kayak I ever made, sea foam. And if you have looked at the sea foam instructable, um, this is the boat that it was made using that instructable. And I have never really, I don't think, done a video of this boat. So I'm just going to show you some of the features that this boat has. First of all, it's very small. It, I believe, is eight feet length overall. Um, that gives it a nice, um, easy to carry around size. It's not very heavy. I believe it's still about 13 pounds, even with some pure parts I've added to it, like this seat platform. This basically is just a square panel of one inch foam. And then underneath it, I did spray foam in a can to fill that. It's not the way I would recommend. I, what I recommend to people now is take another layer of one inch and lay it on your cockpit. And if you want a flat floor like this, let me stand up here so I can show you better. Um, if you want a flat floor like this, I would recommend making some V-shaped pieces to go across, maybe three or four, probably four, and then lay your platform on top of that, but this works. Um, and then other nice features of this boat, for all that it is so small, because it is entirely made out of foam, um, it's unsinkable. So I built the flotation boxes, as Gavin Atkins shows, but they're better for storage. And if you have looked into my Gamma Seal lid hatch, um, this is one of them right here. Here I have a full face snorkel mask. Fits in there nicely. Um, you can actually see the foam and some of the fabric that makes up the hull is my handle there on the back end. Um, and these hatches are really nice just because they're so easy to open and close. I've seen kayak hatches where I really felt like they needed a special tool to open them. And then up here in the bow, you get the same thing. And there's actually a fairly large compartment which will fit pretty much anything you could need to go with you paddling. You could even use it for camping. If you've ever seen, I show pictures of taking a five gallon bucket, unscrewing the lid, drop the bucket. It'll sit right in there like a socket, hold the bucket securely. And if it's a bucket that you put the gamma seal lid on, oh, it was stole away. Look at that. Bye, Mr. Ant. Um, if you have a gamma seal lid on the bucket, it's watertight and basically unless you turn the boat upside down and shake it that bucket's not coming out so you can do one of these front and stern and a five gallon bucket with a lid on it or six or seven gallon if you want to spend a little more money um you can pack a lot of stuff in there for camping fit your food and other things things that you don't have to worry about getting wet up under the edges and so for all that this is a little eight foot boat it actually gives you a very good amount of function and I've just paddled this a few miles and the nice thing about it is this boat is so efficient that for all that it's really short and you think it would be tubby and slow it paddles nicely now you're not going to race anybody it's still probably going to go two or three knots no matter how hard you paddle it but if you balance your weight fore and aft um, which that's why I'm using the life jacket behind me is actually to space my weight forward because I didn't bring a seat today. You can actually stick like a sand chair on top of this 
which I think is the perfect seat for paddling. Um, and it will actually hold you just nicely, but just spacing the life jacket behind me puts me in the right place and this thing slips right along, leaves a little bit of a wake. Get a nice chuckle under the bow from the water tumbling over and it's amazing i'm i mean i'm i'm grounded right now that's why i can stand i could stand otherwise but not very well not this securely i wouldn't do it with a phone in my hand um but this rides in very little water is one of the advantages i've actually taken this boat down the Saco river up in conway new hampshire which if you ever go there you see people it's mild white water. Pretty much they stick anybody in a boat and down the river they go. But this went through that, bounced over rocks, hit some rocks, survived the trip. No issues at all. Um, I have a video of it. You can find it on my channel. Um, but yeah, this is the same boat. And the nice thing about this is this is this boat has had no maintenance since I did the deck hatches. I covered her at that point and I left her that way. Um, she's been sitting upside down on top of my foam camper, the square drop camper. Completely ignored. I'm loved. Snow piles up on her in the winter. Ice. And then we get rain and wind in the summer. Every now and then she blows off the trailer. I have to go out, pick her up, put her back on. But really, I don't have to do anything other than wash it off. I got a little dirt. I got a few ants here. I don't know where they came from. Hope they don't have a home inside of her somewhere. If they do, I don't, they're not going to like this. Um, and other than shaking the spiders off and washing the webs out, th there's really nothing that needs to be done. It's the beauty of a foam boat. It'll just be there. It's just like a plastic kayak or something. But the idea is you made this yourself and it's wicked lightweight. This is the type of boat that if I was going to backpack into somewhere with a boat to go fishing like in a mountain lake or something like that, I would figure out a way to carry this on my back. It wouldn't be too hard to rig up some straps because it's such a lightweight boat, but it has a lot more potential than some sort of little inflatable ring or something like that to keep me dry and secure. And in order to get to this river, I had to paddle across the ocean. I'm in the middle of a marsh right now. I like those rocks, those are beautiful. Um, middle of a marsh right now behind the beach. The ocean is that way. Um, and going across the ocean, I wasn't afraid in this thing. I've actually ridden this through the surf before doesn't handle cup the waves coming over the bow but other than that it actually does okay it's pretty amazing what mr atkin designed and if you build one of these foam kayaks i think you'll be more amazed most people think of them as a child's toy but the full-size versions like this my children like to dive out of this climb back in dive out climb back in dive out um, they can't sink her she's unsinkable and if you really get yourself in trouble and the waves are big, if you stay with this boat, it will not sink. It might get ungainly and slow full of water, which, but as soon as, if you get to some place where you can stand, tip the boat and it will pop out of the water because it's made out of foam and it wants to float. So here we go, here's sea foam. This is, oh my word, I don't know how many years later now, six or seven, maybe eight years later still going strong all of my plywood mice which i have quite the fleet if you've looked at my picture with a whole lineup of ones i built all of the plywood mice at this point have succumbed this boat <laughs> will still be around for my grandkids if i don't decide to chop it up and make something else out of it which i don't think i will or give it away um it's one of the other things it, it'll be around forever so i'll build it right but the nice thing is it's easy enough to strip the fabric off redo what you need put more fabric back on and she's good to go again i think it's kind of the perfect boat especially for the money you pay so there you go the seafoam kayak seven or eight years later if you want to know about durability and functionality this is the boat to have if you ask me now it doesn't have the performance of a sawfish but for something to go you know poke around and do whatever it's pretty good. You know, if I was, obviously, I build a sawfish because it is faster. It's more capable. Um, this has its drawbacks, but for the most boat, I think it takes Gavin Atkins' full-size original most boat design and makes it that much more functional.